Hey, Canucks fans, here's a few more thoughts on last night's game-winning goal in overtime. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCBC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Friday, December the 13th. Yes, it is Friday the 13th. I hope, though, it's a good luck day and not a bad luck day as I'm writing my first exam for my first of 12 courses for my master's from the Gustin Institute. So wish me luck. I'm going to do that after work later tonight. But I want to talk about last night. I want to talk about the Canucks 1-0 win. As you know, I was at the game with my brother Jason and his son Joshua, and I actually got to meet a lot of people actually uh, from YouTube and Twitter. And it was kind of funny. My brother was uh, was legitimately surprised that I was uh, that uh, about half a dozen different people came up to, and greeted me last night, which was kind of cool. Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll pay you later. No, no, I didn't pay anyone. It was just kind of it was kind of a nice thing. And I was we were able to meet a lot of you last night, which is really really cool. Cool. But uh, more, even more cool was the game-winning goal in overtime. And you can use whatever adjective, whatever superlative you want to use to talk about what Pedersen did on that goal. It was brilliant. It was outstanding. It was amazing. It was unbelievable. And I'm going to get to that in a second. But I want to give some props to Brock Besser. And especially because I was kind of ragging on him as overtime started. So this is what happened. As you know, the Carolina Hurricanes took control. They came in. Jordan Stahl wins the draw, then actually comes off, and Sebastian Ajo comes on, very sneaky. So you got Ajo, Teravainen, and Slavin coming in, and they had actually a really good chance. Markstrom really, made a really good save, and then it goes the other way, and then it's Besser and Horvat, a two-on-one on Slavin, and Besser's on the left, Horvat streaking down the middle, and then uh, you probably remember Hor- uh, the puck kind of skipped off uh, Besser's uh, stick a little bit as, as he's entering the Carolina zone, but I still think, um, you know, given Besser's unlucky streak of, of shooting, I was expecting a pass to Horvat. So as they're coming over the line, and as, as Besser's fumbling the puck, I actually remember screaming, uh, you know, pass the puck, right? So he doesn't. He takes his shot. Uh, actually, by the time he gets in um, and he, he gets control, Slavin sliding across, and then it was Aho that's able to close the gap. And now it's a, uh, and then actually in Teravainen's trailing. So now it's basically a, a two on three. What became a two on one becomes a two on three because all three Carolina guys are back. Horvat's there, and Myers is trailing the play. So Besser uh, waits for Slavin to slide past him, and then he puts a shot onto Mrazic, and Mrazic kicks it out to the side as, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in the, on the sideboards with his pad. To, then I thought, okay, turnover, it's going to go back the other way. Besser get back on D. But Besser, to his credit, um, won the battle on the board. So he beat out Slavin, he beat out Aho, and then he, now he's curling back to the middle. And I remember screaming at that time, because remember, he had just uh, been stopped. I remember screaming, Besser, pass the puck. And I, I turned to Jason, my brother, and I said, Besser, does, Besser doesn't pass. He's not a good passer. And I, I remember screaming this and yelling this at him. Well, not really yelling. I was, I was pretty excited because it was overtime. Maybe I was yelling. But I remember exclaiming this. And as he does that, Besser then goes across the middle. We know that Slavin loses his stick. And then Slavin tries to glove the puck out of the zone. But he doesn't get all of it. Besser is able to uh, control that puck on, now on the right boards with Slavin on him, with Teravainen on him, and then he does a backhand no-look pass. Well, he takes a quick look, sees, Petter, sees Horvat going to the bench, sees Pedersen coming on, and then he, he looks back and then does a backhand behind the back pass. Now, I, I, so I got full credit, to, uh, full credit to Brock Besser for his effort. Um, his initial shot, which was just okay, but winning the first board battle on the left side, beating out Aho and sorry Slavin and Aho, and then able to win that battle. You know, as they were whacking, as the puck was going between legs, and Slavin was trying to glove it. Besser did out, uh, you know, um, outwork the two Carolina players across the slot to the other side, and then he makes that be- beautiful back pass. Now the back pass. If Slavin's stick wasn't sitting in the slot, that back pass, uh, Pedersen wouldn't have caught up to it. I, I know that because I could just tell from the speed. Pedersen had just come off the bench. So then the, the puck would have gone to the corner and then we, who knows what would have happened. But inexplicably, the puck hits, not only hits Slavin's stick that's on the ice, but almost rides up the stick, if that makes sense. So if, if here's, the, here's the blade of the stick and here's the handle or the, the top half, uh, the puck hits here. And then kind of slides along the, the stick. It just doesn't hit it and come off or hit it by itself. It hits it flush and then slides along it and actually turns the stick as it's going. Pedersen takes it off the backhand, off the, the, uh, off the deflection off the stick, goes around the same stick while Ajo is pestering from behind, trying to slash him and hook at him. And then roofs the puck over Morazic's left shoulder. And an amazing shot. I think it went post-crossbar just right underneath the crossbar. Um, Morazic had no chance. 
and it was a brilliant goal. And and you just saw Pedersen's skill there. The way he was able to read the way the puck was going to come off the stick, the way he was able to go around that same stick, and then in one fluid motion with a flat puck, on his backhand, everything was on his backhand, completely roof it right underneath the crossbar. It was an amazing goal. It happened, no, it didn't happen right in front of us. It was on the other end last night. But it was, the place went crazy, and and it just showed Elias Pettersson's amazing skill, his amazing hand-eye coordination that he's been showing, batting pucks out of the air, one-timers, deflections, whatever it may be. But that was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant display. I have no other word. Well, as, she, I, as you know, I have a lot of other words, but but that was really, really good. But a lot of other things had to happen too. Besser's effort, despite me yelling at him, and, and, a, and of course a lucky bounce or a lucky ride up the Slavin stick. So all to say, it was a pretty, pretty masterful overtime. It happened in, in only 40 seconds. That's all it took. So one rush to the Canucks end, then uh, a counterattack to the Carolina Hurricanes end. And it made up, it made for, it made up for the night. You know, the game was kind of slow, especially the first and second periods. Third period, it picked up a little bit. And like I said last night, sometimes you're going to win games that you probably got outplayed, and that was last night. And sometimes you're going to lose games where you outplayed the opposition. So thankfully, it was the former last night, and the Canucks walk away with a big two points. Now they're traveling today to California. They got San Jose tomorrow, Vegas on Sunday, and then they come back for a big game against the Montreal Canadiens on Tuesday. By the way, I'm selling tickets to that game. If you're interested, um, uh, leave a message. I'll put my email in the description, and if you're interested, uh, shoot me an email, and then we'll go from there. Well, hey, Canucks fans, let me know what you thought about the goal, whether you're watching it live or whether you're there um, you know, uh, watching on TV. Tell me what you thought as Besser came in with Horvat. Were you screaming at him to make a better play like I was, or am I the only one? And be honest. I was just honest with you. And then what do you think of Besser's play to retain that puck, to win the battle, to get it a blind back pass, backhand pass, off the perfectly placed stick of Slavin, and then, of course, Pedersen works his magic from there. Let me know what you thought about the goal. Let me know what you thought about the game. And I'd love to hear your thoughts, as you, especially as you watched it in real time. I only saw it once, you know, at the arena. I saw a quick replay. But it wasn't until I got home and watched the replay and slowed it down where I recognized all the really cool things that happened on that play. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply, as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Enjoy the day. God bless. Go Canucks, go.